Hey, what's up guys, this is Suda here, and in today's video we have a question and answer video. I asked you guys for questions on Twitter with hashtag AskSuda, and I kind of just chose a bunch of random questions. It's been quite a long time since I've had a video like this, so I figured it'd be a good opportunity to talk to you guys, maybe answer any questions that you might have. I'm playing Fortnite in the background, if you guys can tell, I figured it would probably fit best with the flow of this video. I'm not really good at the game, I usually just play for fun, so it's probably, you'll probably see me in like one kill this game, but that's fine. Hope you guys are okay with that. This is going to be a pretty long video, I have an unboxing, a room setup tour, and I have a little mini vlog at the end. Just so you guys know what you're in store for, it's going to be a long video, I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure to leave a like, all feedback is always appreciated. So with the first question here, we have Josh Captain, and he asks, how did you get into gaming? The first big game I remember playing was probably Super Smash Bros. My cousin had a Nintendo 64, so whenever we went over to his house, I was always playing Super Smash Bros. I wasn't allowed to get the game for myself because my mom figured it was too violent. I was pretty much forced to only play video games when I wasn't at home, so like when I went to McDonald's, I'd always play like Spyro in like the uh, McDonald's game room. That was always fun. A couple years later, I got Call of Duty 4. I used to always play the single player campaign before I got internet. And when I got internet, I realized how cool it was to play multiplayer. I'd always go in Black Ops 1 and just play by myself, just like whipping around tomahawks because I thought that was like the coolest thing ever, being like a cool tomahawk kill or something. Black Ops 1 was definitely the game that got me hooked, I guess. I, I would play it like every day after school. I was only into the multiplayer. I really had no interest in like the campaign or the story mode or anything. I just thought it was really cool knowing that I'm playing against other real people. So like a 6v6 game mode, I'm just playing against maybe some guy in Japan. And now you have games like Fortnite where you get to play against 100 other people and survive. So if I was a kid and this was my first video game, I would definitely be obsessed with this game as well. Are you planning on playing Black Ops 4 and what are your future plans for your channel? I'm definitely super excited for Black Ops 4 because uh, it's a Treyarch game and every game Treyarch's made has been my favorite Call of Duty so far, basically. Pretty much started YouTube around the Black Ops 2-3 era, so I definitely intend on making videos with my friends on Black Ops 4. So you can definitely expect to see Black Ops 4 videos from me when it comes out. I think it's like October. As far as future content on this channel, I'm probably just going to go with what I feel like at the time. I wouldn't want to upload a video I wasn't happy with myself, so it's hard to say what my content could be like in a year from now, a month from now. All I know is that I want to start adding more variety of games into my channel. I have been playing Fortnite a lot lately, so that's why I've been posting Fortnite. My friends and I have a good time in there, so I mean, if I have a good time playing a video game, I'm probably going to make a video out of that. Kesa Gaming asks, I don't know if you entered this question yet, but who edits your videos? I talk more about editing in the setup video. As far as the content on my channel, I make everything myself. I'm not opposed to the idea, but some people get editors to help them with the, the workflow. I enjoy putting my own spin on my videos with the editing style and all that, so I hope that answers that question. FinPlays asks, how long does it take you to edit a video on average? So it definitely depends on what the video is or what type of video it is. I mean, I made a video called Paying for Friends where I went on Fiverr and I had to message like 10 people. I had to wait basically a week to get replies from everybody, and then I had to play with them. So videos like that obviously take a lot longer than a regular, like I have a Fortnite video, which basically like three games put together into one video. It really varies depending on what the video is. On average, I'd say it'd take a couple days. I always do a little bit up until the day I know I'm going to upload, and then I sit there the entire day until the video is done. While the video is rendering, I'll just make my thumbnail, and then post it. I normally post around 6.30 or 7 Eastern Standard Time, and that's only because that's always when I finish the video. I'm not sure when the best time is to upload on YouTube, but leave a comment letting me know when you're on YouTube the most. I'm Suda, how do you become as funny as you and your friend group? So the thing is, with editing, you can really cut out any downtime in the recording. It's a lot different than live streaming. Live streaming, you're live 24-7, like people can see your every move. When it comes to videos like mine, they're basically highlight videos. I chop out all the boring stuff usually and just put exciting, fun stuff for you guys to watch. There's a lot of downtime to all my videos, it's not like we just get on and we're just having a blast in the, the entire time, but my videos might make it look like we're having a lot more fun than we are. <laughs> we're actually having an awful time, we all hate video games. Question here coming in from Suda Face Reveal, and he says, Suda, can you please do a face reveal? Uh, so yes, I recently got a camera here, uh, let me turn it on. There we go. So yes, this is my official face reveal. Um, I might look different than what you expected me to look like, but um... Been getting tons of comments asking me to do this, so here you go. I hope you guys enjoy. This is my face, hello. I hope this answers any questions that you may have had, or we'll puts a voice to a face for you guys. So, uh, on to the next question. Connor Hartig asks, will you ever play with at Minilad? It would be awesome. So, I've heard of Minilad, our paths have never crossed before, unfortunately. I've been told he was a good YouTuber, so it'd definitely be cool to collab maybe sometime in the future. It's always nice to meet new people and play games and have fun. It's all about having a good time, so Connor, if you know Mini, if you want to introduce us, that'd be awesome. Dagger Sigurdsson asks, uh, hashtag Asuda, 
What are your intentions with my daughter? I have nothing but pure intentions for anybody of the female variety. If you are confirmed to be a father of the woman in question by Mori Povich, you're in the right place, let me tell you that. You are not! All I intend to do with your daughter is make her subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com backslash I'm Suda, that's my channel. Hashtag Ask Suda, how tall are you and what is your opinion on bread? So I'm six foot four, I think, and for the second part of that question, um, it depends on if we're talking about whole wheat. I personally believe that bread is good for you. It contains lots of nutrients. Um, it can also make good toast if you put it in the toaster. So, um, yeah, I hope that answered that, is, that question. Uh, <laughs> Hashtag S Suda, I'm in the bathroom, trapped, with no paper, no key, no window. What could you suggest me to do? So I'm not sure why you would be tweeting me from your bathroom that you're locked in, but I don't think anyone's ever needed a key from the inside of the room. Usually the lock would be on the other side, so I would assume you just open the door. Unless you're in some sort of situation where, for some reason, the lock's reversed and you're stuck in the bathroom. Uh, if so, I'd probably call the police to help you get out of the bathroom. I'm not sure why you would tweet me. If you're still in the bathroom by chance, I hope that maybe this answer will help you get out of there safe. Maybe just try and open the door. Rebel Scum asks, If Uncle Jack was stuck on a horse, would you help your Uncle Jack off? If my assistance was needed to help my Uncle Jack off, then I'd probably do that because, I mean, that's the right thing to do if he's stuck and he requests assistance getting off the horse. But fortunately for me, I don't have an Uncle Jack, so this question doesn't really apply to me. Hashtag Ask Suda, do you do yoga? Uh, I, I don't do yoga. I'm not very flexible. It's kind of a short answer, but I don't, so I don't know why I chose this, actually. Hashtag Ask Suda, at what age do you think you will die? Um, I haven't really thought about it, but if I had to guess, I'd probably say... 76 years old. That sounds like a good age. I feel like I shouldn't guess an age, because when I get to that age, I'll probably, for some reason, come across this video again if the internet's still there. The day I turn 76, I'll just be very superstitious. So I guess my answer for this will be 107 years old. Max says, Please do merch and giveaways more often. So I do have merch, if you guys don't know. I'll have a link in the description if that interests you. And just because you asked, Max, I'm going to do a giveaway of two of my sweatshirts. I'm going to do one on Twitter and then one on Instagram, and they're both at I'm Suda. So for the Twitter giveaway, I'm going to put it on screen. You just have to like the tweet, and then I'll randomly go through the favorites and pick a winner and DM them. I'll also give away one on Instagram. All you got to do is comment anything. Not the word anything, but it's anything you want, and I'll just randomly select a comment. I'm starting to use my social medias more, so if you want to follow me on there, that'd be awesome. The links to those are below. Diego asks, do you keep fan art? I definitely do. If uh, anybody ever tweets me fan art, I'd always save that to my computer. It's really cool seeing what you guys can come up with. Unfortunately, there isn't much to my name. It's really just my logo that I have. So I wanted to make a character, like a character that represents me, I guess, in some way. Not to replace my logo or anything, but just like a, an extra design, possibly for clothing or something like that. My friend Davey made this for me. I thought it was really cool. It's like a 30s cartoon TV head guy. And basically the colors in the screen are to be my logo colors, like a static kind of thing. If any of you guys are artists out there and you want to make something cool with this character, that'd be awesome. I'd love to see anything you guys come up with. Just tweet it at me or maybe tag me on Instagram. Will you ever do a setup video? So I'm going to show you guys my gaming setup, where I edit my videos basically. But quickly before I do, I have two new additions to add to the setup. So I'm going to unbox those for you guys. I have my 1 million subscriber plaque, which I just received. I never thought I would have gotten one myself. That's really unbelievable. I really truly appreciate all of you guys' support. So you'll see me unbox that. And then I received a new computer from Ironside Computers. I told Ironside that my old computer broke, so they sent me a new computer. I'll leave the specs of the computer in the description. If you guys need a custom computer, I'd also recommend checking them out. So I'm gonna give you guys a little tour around my room here. I've never done one of these videos before, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys around. Uh, here's my, my microphone, which is what I'm talking to right here. There it is, and there's my headphones that I put on my head to listen to audio. That's why they're called headphones. And then I actually have speakers and hard drives. But um, I recently stopped using these hard drives because it was clogging up my computer. 
I just get new computer anyways because my other one broke. So here's my beautiful computer that you guys saw me unbox. LED lights on and everything. I got the standard keyboard and mouse, gaming chair, uh, this so I can write things on, which I've never done. Uh, clock so I know what time it is, and then, you know, some foam. Here's my laptop and a chair with my editing shoes on. So when I edit, I usually just put these shoes on and I sit down here and edit. I just recently started using this monitor here, so I stacked a bunch of encyclopedias up because they didn't have a proper stand. So yeah, that's my current setup there, and I have one of these mount arms to hold up the other monitors. And here we actually have some Purell uh, hand sanitizer. I, I use that never. I actually have never used that. We got a poster on the wall. Uh, this is the packaging where my YouTube plaque came in. I recently just got my YouTube plaque. You saw me unbox that before this. But here's my new YouTube plaque. It's super neat, super big. Thank you guys again so much for 1 million subscribers. It's a crazy mouth, so I never thought I would reach, so I appreciate all of you guys, each and every single one of you. On this table here, we have the PS4, the Xbox One, the interface. Here we have some speakers with a safe on top of it. I can't open it though. It's a top secret material in there. I'll take you guys to my closet here. We have um, my wardrobe. I have a Vancouver Grizzlies jersey. Uh, this team doesn't exist anymore, but I thought it was cool because it's a Canadian team. Here we have the only other Canadian team, the Toronto Raptors, which still exist. I don't know if any of you guys are basketball fans, but I thought it would be cool to get the two Canadian teams. Then we have a New York jersey. Uh, this player doesn't exist either. Uh, the back says, you what, mate? I thought it was a funny joke. And then we just got some jackets. Oh, there's a there's my Suda shirt. We got some shoes up here, some soap in case I need to clean them. Here we have some classics. We got Franklin, Scooby-Doo. I actually used to watch this as a child, so that's why I always talk about Bob the Builder. One of the best series of all time. The Lion King, Bob the Builder again, Peter Pan, all classics. I definitely over-ordered on soundproof foam, so I just have a ton stacked here. Got some shoe boxes, and then I have some, uh, some wires. I don't even know what these are for, but there's so many. Definitely not gonna be organizing this. I wanna say thank you again to Ironside Computers for sending me this lovely desktop computer. I told them my desktop computer was broken, so they went out of their way to send me this beautiful machine. I'll leave their links in the description if you guys are in need of a custom computer as well. I definitely recommend them. I'm gonna tackle a couple questions at the same time. So uh, somebody asked me what I used to edit. I actually use Sony Vegas. Um, here's me editing my own video right now, and here's the, the video preview. There's Big Puffer. Beautiful man. You, you probably haven't even seen this clip yet, because it's later in the video. So I've been using Sony Vegas to edit. I use Photoshop for thumbnails. I've been meaning to switch to Premiere for a while now because I want to learn how to use their editing software. Looks a lot smoother and cleaner for editing. As for now, this is what I have in my setup. I hope you guys enjoyed the little uh, setup room tour video. Uh, thank you to YouTube for seeing my plaque. Only took four months, but I got it, so I'm really happy about that. Thank you. Back here with another question from Anthony, and he asks, Have you ever gotten recognized in public by your voice? As far as I'm concerned, I haven't. I don't think my voice is very distinctive, but some people tell me it is. I haven't been to many events in the past, so I haven't really got a chance to meet a fan. But hopefully one day I'll meet one of you guys, so I know that maybe you guys exist somewhere. How was it meeting your friends in real life for the first time? So a while back, I met my friends in New York for a gaming event. We mainly just went to meet up for the first time. It was really nice meeting them. I got to know them really well over the internet, so it wasn't really weird when I met them in real life. I know sometimes it could be awkward meeting somebody you never talked to in real life in person, but definitely wasn't like that. When I was in New York, all my friends were making vlog videos, so I was kind of helping them out with the camera work and all that, because I'm a good cameraman, what can I say? So I stole all their vlog footage and put it on my laptop, and I edited this little uh, vlog segment for the end of this video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment any questions you have below. I always go through there or Twitter when I do these videos. I'm so grateful for all you guys, and I can't help but think that 1 million just to start for this channel. I'm really excited for the future to keep on making videos for you guys. You guys are the best. I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog at the end, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! So it's gonna be me, Tranium, Crispy, Sanders, Hyper, Fuse, Suda. Did I miss anybody? I don't know. I got you, dog! That's for you! Oh. <laughs> Michael's laying bricks. No, not like this. Oh, raindrops. Brick house. Whose stepdad is this? So, we just got word. We just got word that I'm Suda's at the airport. And he's gonna come play ball with us. Can your legs go on YouTube? No. <laughs> we got an intense pickup game going on over here. They just asked 
if any of us want to play, and Suda walks over there. Suda walked all the way from Canada to play in a pickup basketball game. That's impressive. We're on a mission for the I'm Suda vlog. Today's vlog is not going to be uploaded ever. Oh, there we go. What are you looking at? Is this thing on? <laughs> Yo, what the? Get the So Trainium's a repeat flex offender. Someone just came up to Hyper, saw his shirt, and said, are you just a fan? I said, I'm just a fan, dude. New York's so beautiful. He might be the show. Wait, that's my guy. You don't take a picture. Ah, 312. Can't believe we get to watch Crispy Concords. Oh my God. It's Adam Sandler. Is that uh, Adam Sandler? I loved you in the cobbler. Thanks, man, I really appreciate it. So glad you guys could join me here on this tour. Is that a little Yachty? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just threw a grenade right there. He should throw it right through there, I think. Uh, yeah. that they are trying to hold off Dude, these are the nicest business hey, cards. One. Look at I'm Suda's business cards. It's like a YouTube ad. We're just. We're just blessing people in the streets of N1. Amen. Hey, one more fucking break. <laughs> <laughs> it's for you. Yeah, this red. <laughs> Hostile death machine spinning up. <laughs> NMA UAV online. All right, let's do this. Suda, what is this shit you have on your computer? Uh, we're going to IHOP. And uh, Suda told me to play Counter Strike at IHOP. Oh shit. IHOP. It's in the game. Uh, I'm thinking about ordering some breakfast. Slug. You have Wi Fi? Yeah, I use my personal hotspot. I'm trying God, to get look at the inventory. Clip will give a competitive. No way you're gonna connect. <laughs> no, 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 no. You gotta get in the game. Should it be as fast as your terrible laptop can go? Alright, we're good. Get one kill. I'll get one kill. Hold on. Get it quiet. Bro, look, I'm getting 60 FPS at the moment. Yo, why are you so much better than all these people on Twitter last time? Fuck up the console, he must be hacking. Oh, oh you're done, all right. You done? That was about my dinks in for the day. Hey, you guys should subscribe to I'm Suda. He has a million subscribers now. Um, you should give him some more subscribers. Chris, we didn't want to juice him, but I'll juice him on his own channel. Hey, what's up, guys? Suda here. I know you weren't expecting this. Oh. <laughs>